I seriously cannot believe that I'm about to say this, but 2K just took what has to be the biggest W of the year because they're giving everybody not one, not two, but three new free Dark Matters, and they're going to be so easy to get. And if you guys do want to see 2K do more stuff like this, then like the video and comment down below what you guys think about it because I feel like if 2K sees the positive feedback, then they'll be willing to do it more often. You know what I mean? And so definitely do that right now. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about. And so 2K ended up tweeting out this right here and take a look at that. We're getting those three free dark matters for free by just playing the game and I love the fact that 2k is doing this mainly because these three players are very important when it comes to NBA history and just history in itself because 2k also went on to tweet out that these three pioneer players who blazed a new path in the NBA are coming to my team and they're basically telling us that we take on all three players in triple threats Yes, in triple threat, bro, that's a 21-point game, and we get to add their special Pioneers of the Game cards to our collection, and I love the fact that we're getting all three of them, not just one or maybe an option pack or, like, a chance at getting one. Like, no, we're getting all three of them for free by playing the game, bro. Like, I'm just... Like, to whoever took over for 2K deserves a raise or, like, I don't even, like, whoever got fired or hired or whatever the case is, they got to keep it up, bro. And I know there's going to be a lot of people that are wondering exactly who these players are because they're not your typical My Team cards or players that we get every single year in My Team. This is actually the first time I believe that they're being in My Team, like, introduced. I could be wrong. Let me know if you guys do know, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time that we're seeing them. Now, for those that don't know, when it comes to Earl, he was actually the first African-American player player to play a game in the NBA and so this is actually going to be something cool that 2k is adding and it's going to celebrate basketball history everything like that and so Earl right here you guys can see he is going to be 6'6 when it comes to his heights obviously he's not a seven footer but at the same time though I love the fact that he's a free card to get and it just teaches people about the history of basketball and it's a good way to just get people active to playing the game again because a lot of people were quitting and I feel like this could definitely bring back a lot of players you know back into my team and so for me personally I love the fact that 2k is doing this we're also getting Chuck out here now when it comes to him he was also one of the first African-American players he was actually the first African-American to be drafted by an NBA team as the first pick of the second round by the Celtics and so obviously his card is going to be on the Celtics he's also 6'5 and dude I just love this because this opens up the window for a lot more historic players to come into my team that we haven't seen before and on top of that we're also getting Sweetwater Clifton and some of you guys might know him more than the others but at the same time though again one of the first African-American players to play in the NBA and I just man I'm telling you bro if 2K keeps doing stuff like this this is going to be such a W I know they're not going to be be demigods when it comes to you know Clifton he's going to be 6'8 he can play the three position though so he's going to be a power forward slash small forward now when it comes to Earl he's going to be a shooting guard slash small forward and then when it comes to Cooper he's also going to be small forward slash shooting guard and if you guys have been playing my team for a while and just 2k in general then you know that usually 2k ends up giving some of these players really good animations I don't know if they'll do it you know even just before you know Terry a lot of people didn't even know who Terry was and yet he's one of the best cards we We've ever seen in my team and so if they give them the same treatment that they gave players like terry you know other cards out there even in the token market you know right now they do have the cards that we had that were historic players that we really usually don't get in my team and so if 2k gives the same animations like they did to danny ferry to billy to mike you know to purvis out here to all these players if they do that to these dark matters they're going to be really good and i have a feeling that they might do it just to make people want to get them even more and i love the fact that it's so easy to do bro and so we're going to be getting three free dark matters by literally just playing the game and so if you can't afford you know the new invincibles that we're getting which i did make a video on if you can't afford those or you just want to have some free stuff all you have to do is go into the challenges and 2k said it's going to be triple threat games bro triple threat that's a 21 point game now by the sound of it it is going to be three different challenges and so i wouldn't be surprised if they're just going to be maybe in the spotlights you know even right now we do have some spotlight challenges and the celtics unlike the lakers were actually able to force another game and so they ended up 
adding another challenge right here for a deluxe player pack so you can literally get a guaranteed playoff card as well and there's so much stuff to do in my team now bro and we're just getting started with this season like this season literally it hasn't even been a week yet and yet they're adding challenges they're adding free dark matters they're adding locker codes they're adding evolutions they're adding stuff that people have been asking and begging for all year and finally they do it i feel like they're doing it because you know 2k24 is around the corner and they obviously want people to pick it up but i do like the fact that they're actually doing stuff that we want to see in my team and so they're going to be in the challenges right here you can definitely do the spotlights if you want them for those guaranteed playoff players which at this point there's so many of them like you never know some of them might be dark matters some of them might be galaxy opals there's so many players i've actually been doing a good job on collecting most of these cards i'm just missing a couple here and there i'm actually missing two lakers oh that's right i'm missing lebron james mr lbj gotta pick up that one eventually uh d'angelo russell I mean, I'm okay with him. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, whatever. So you definitely do have a chance of getting all these players too. And now on top of that, we're getting three free Dark Matters. And I'm just loving what I'm seeing in 2K, bro. If they update the token market consistently, if they add, you know, more exchanges, more evolutions, if they add more exhibitions, I haven't done these in a while, by the way. I don't know if you guys still do them. I feel like they definitely do have to update these with some better rewards. But I love what I'm seeing though. The pack market's even pretty good too. You know, I ended up doing a pack opening with these 11% odds these packs were just juice with dark matters it's crazy and so we're literally seeing a change in my team and and i'm just hoping they kind of update the gameplay too i know it's a little hard to do just because the game's been out for a while but if they improve the gameplay then this might be like the best you know final few months of 2k that we've ever seen when it comes to any type of 2k because i'm loving what i'm seeing bro they ended up updating all the game modes with dark matters i'm still going after all these players right here i gotta get that rick smiths my goodness because that card is really good and then of course we even have the level 40 invincible zion right now which a lot of people are going after because it's zion williamson and they're even adding challenges and agendas too bro like whoever took over for 2k i'm loving what i'm seeing you got these rush players for XP. You obviously have a guaranteed rush pack by completing it. I already completed it, so that's why you don't see it right here. But it's actually going to be under the completed agendas. And so you can see, I ended up completing it six clutch time offline games in a row, and you ended up getting a free rush player. And I'm just over here like 2K. I, I kind of wish this was, you know, around when this game just started in the beginning of the year but at the same time though i guess it's better late than never right and while you're at it 2k i mean it wouldn't hurt to get some new locker codes as well you know what i mean just you know a locker code here a locker code there a locker code every single day would be nice bro imagine daily locker codes yo 2k daily locker codes maybe you know mt tokens you know just players packs like, imagine, bro, if daily locker codes would be probably the biggest W that 2K could add. Because right now, I'm loving what I'm seeing. Like, what they're adding and what they're doing to my team. If they keep it up, we're going to be finishing off the year strong leading up to 2K24. And 2K, if you're watching this video, then keep it up, okay? I'm loving what I'm seeing. And hopefully, you keep it up. But let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about it. Just wanted to give you a heads up of these free dark matters. Definitely check out the new Invincibles we're getting as well as that pack opening I did. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.